Hello guys, this is Code and Code and this is video editorial for the problem road construction taken from CSCS graph algorithm series. So the problem statement says that uh, there are n cities and initially there is no road between them, right? So every day, day by day, you build a road between two cities, okay? And you do this for m different days, right? So after each day, your task is to find the number of components and the size of the largest component. Basically, you are given a graph with n nodes and m edges. I mean, you add the edges iteratively, right? One by one. So after adding each edge, your task is to find the number of connected components and the size of the largest connected component. So this is the problem statement. For example, suppose this was the graph. At this point, our solution, we have to print both of the thing, right? So how many connected component we have? We have two. And what is the size of the largest connected component? That is also two, right? So suppose uh, there was a query to add these two, right? There's an edge between these two. Now, uh, the number of connected component now are only one. This is the whole single connected component. Size of the connected component is four. Size of the largest connected component is four. So we'll print one and four, okay? Now, prerequisites of course since i'm going to solve this problem using disjoint sets so you need to have the knowledge of disjoint set union data structure i already have a course on that so uh, you can go ahead and learn the dsu if you have no idea about that right so you can learn dsu and uh, along with path compression in union by rank uh, optimization techniques right so if i show you here you can see i have the course i'll be putting the link of this course in the description of the video so you can go through that you'll learn union by rank also and a uh, path compression okay and of course knowledge of basic graph theory and uh, knowledge of connected component what is connected component and all right so these are the prerequisites now the way we'll solve this problem is this we'll have two variables right uh, max and connected component count so max will tell you the maximums of uh, the size of the largest connected component it will store size of the largest connected component and of course uh, cc will store the number of connected component initially since there are no edges so all of the nodes are forming a single connected component that's why we have number of connected component as n so now for you the question is we'll process the queries one by one i mean we'll process the edges input edges let me just show you the input here it is right you'll be given input edges here n and m number of nodes number of edges and then each edge so after adding each edge you have to print the number of remaining uh, i mean number of connected components uh, size of the largest connected component so so the question uh, for you is that after e uh, i mean after adding a certain edge right how does the uh, cc changes right think about it now before we move on are you a student or a working professional who is looking for great career in software development then you have to think about aspects like what is trending in the industry and the kind of questions being asked in interview. Was the thought process behind the architecture of great applications like Google, Amazon, Zometo, Ola, etc. And how to improve your code chef ranking. Show hosts on Unacademy are working with some of the top companies like Google, Amazon to name a few. They are seven star coders on code chef and are industry expert with years of experience. They'll walk you through their own industry experience and interact with a lot of guests like HR and industry leaders of top companies where they will ask questions raised by you. These shows will be covering a lot of content that will benefit your career like in live episodes, you get an opportunity to ask tech HRs about top 20 interview questions and industry leaders directly about their recruitment process in startups and MNCs. What's the eligibility criteria and how to apply and how they build such great products. Even get your resume and your college or personal projects improved by getting them reviewed by expert SDEs. And not only that, you can participate in mock interviews and learn courses on programming languages, cloud computing, blockchain and crypto, tech aspects of digital marketing and data analytics. One of India's leading DM experts will be coming live on a weekly basis and teaching DM using practical projects and tools. You'll be taught all about digital marketing from zero, so don't worry if you don't know the basics. We all know about the ads which run on multiple apps like YouTube, Flipkart, Amazon, Instagram, but how the companies manage to target the correct, uh, correct audience and convert these leads to sales. You'll be learning all of that. And now what are some differentiators that you'll find here but not on YouTube? Of course, live projects and interactive episodes. Not everybody needs to pay a lot. You can get your daily dose of learning and many such shows at only 999 for an entire year. And you can use my code and get 10% off and get the same course at 899. Now let's head back to our lecture. 
so suppose there was a query of uh, one three that means connect one and three right so what will happen clearly when you connect two nodes which were not already connected number of connected uh, components are decreased by exactly one right so first we'll check whether node one and three are already connected or not that you can do using find operation of dsu right so we'll check whether one and three are connected or not of course they are not connected so we'll merge them and of course uh, cc will be decreasing by one right and now think about the max see uh, this already kept the maximum till now so what happens is that what are the nodes that are being changed what are the connected components that are being changed right so only those which are being uh, connected by these two right which operation was recently performed on node 1 and 3 so only these two uh, these two are merged together and this connected component now may be bigger than the maximum already maxima right so find the size of this connected component newly formed connected component that you can do using uh, by finding the rank of the newly connected component right newly found connected component newly created connected component then you can find the size of this and check whether this is bigger than the current max of course the size of the newly created connected component is 2 which is greater than max so it will become 2 right so let's see what the next query says 2 3 so we'll see whether these two are connected of course these two are not connected they don't belong to the same set right so what we'll do of course we'll merge these two and uh, cc will be decreasing by one and of course since the size of the newly created uh, con con connected component cc is greater than the previous size which was two so max is three as well now suppose what happens when you don't add the edge for example the query one two one and two are part of the same set already right so we don't have to merge them if we don't have to merge them clearly cc won't change if there are no newly found uh, connected component of course max won't change either so basically if these two nodes are already part of the same set in the dsu then you don't have to anything and you can directly print these two and that will be your answer so if i show you the same thing using the code uh by the way i would highly encourage you to go ahead and apply the same using dsu yourself right and if you are if you are stuck anywhere of course i'll be providing the solution in the description of the video so let's go so the number of nodes can be 2 into 10 power 5 so rank and parent of course for uh union by rank right and of course to to keep the size of the connected component initially uh I'm reading NNM and setting the size of each connected component to one and parent I'm initializing with minus one that will help you find the parents right in the find operation mm max is one and of course connected components initialize with n what I'm doing reading a and b if they don't belong to the same set then we'll be merging them okay and then maximizing the max right and merge actually returns the size of the newly created uh, connected component okay so that's why we are able to find the maximum we are basically able to maximize mx and size of the connected component will be decreasing by one so clearly that and after that we are printing size of connect i mean uh, a total number of connected component will be decreasing by one sorry so we'll be printing total number of connected component and size of the maximum connected component right so what how uh, what we are performing in the find operation of course this is the standard dsu find operation right if you go through uh, dsu lecture you already know and here you can see i'm using path compression right and here i'm using union by rank right so simply a and b will be merged so for that we need to find uh, perform find operation on a and b and find their parents so because these are the only two nodes which are connected i mean which are which will be changing any properties of them so find operation on a and b and after that of course what we are checking whether uh, we are making sure that node A is having the more number of nodes than node B. So basically node A will become the parent. So parent of B will be updated to A basically. Now for B parent is actually A, right? And since A is the parent, uh, rank of A will be, increment, uh, will be incremented, right? And that's what we are doing here. And size of the newly created connected component is rank of A. Simply return with that, right? So yeah, this is the solution. So I'll be providing this solution in the description of the video so you can go through that and try to write your own solution that will be better even if you if you have gone through this still writing your own code will help you a lot so yeah this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and until the next video drops keep coding thank you